Factorising quadratic expressions. I like to call this method the crossover method. First important thing to remember is that your quadratic expression must be placed in a certain order. You must have the x squared first, then the x, and then the number. Once you have it in this order, you can use the method I'm going to show you. First thing you do is think of two numbers that multiply to give you a 2. In this particular case, there are only two numbers that you can use, a 2 and a 1. I'm going to place an x after here and an x after this because 2x times 1x gives you 2x squared. The second thing to do is to look at the numerical part of the expression, the 5, and think of two numbers that multiply to give you 5. Here once again, nice and easy because it's a prime number, it can only be a 5 and a 1. The following step after this is where this name comes from, to cross over. You need to cross over the top here with the bottom there and multiply to give you 2x. You cross these over, so 1x times 5 and multiply these two to give you a 5x. The idea is that when you look at these two algebraic expressions here, they should in some way allow you to achieve a plus 7x, either by adding or subtracting. In this particular case, we can achieve a plus 7x by adding together these two algebraic expressions, which means that this must be a plus 5x and this must be a plus 2x. Now that I've placed signs in front of here, I feed these signs back in front of the numbers here. Now let's have a look at what we have. 2x and 1x multiply to give you, to, together to give you 2x squared, so that works. Plus 5 and plus 1 multiply together to give you plus 5. Plus 5x added to plus 2x does give you plus 7. So all three things work. The final step here is a bit that I like, my, I like the best. It's called reading across. The first bracket comes up by combining these two expressions together. So we get a 2x plus 5 in the first bracket. And the second bracket is created by reading together these two expressions. 1x plus 1. Now in your examination, it will probably be better to write these expressions without the 1 in front of here. So our final answer is 2x plus 5 in one bracket, and the other bracket is x plus 1. You can check your answer by using FOIL or expanding these two brackets out and simplifying in another way. One thing I would like to point out right now is that if these two numbers in this particular order didn't work, you could switch them around and see if they make up the same numbers. The idea is that you've got to keep trying until the factors you've got placed under these numbers actually work.